Welcome ladies and gentlemen and what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting rational expressions part one. Let's recall that when we add and subtract fractions, not rational expressions, but fractions, you need a common denominator. Notice that these three all have the same common denominator of seven, which means that adding them would simply be a matter of adding all of the pieces together and coming up with the total number of sevenths that you had. So this is one seventh plus three sevenths would be four sevenths plus eight sevenths would be twelve sevenths. Over here we have a problem. The bottom numerator, um, the denominators are not the same size. You can't readily add three halves with five fourths and know exactly what you have going on. So what we need to do is get a common denominator. So what we do is we multiply this two by two and that'll give me grab another color here. So if I multiply the top by 2 and if I multiply the bottom by 2, that'll give me fourths. And then we're going to subtract 5 over 4. What that's going to give us is the common denominator of 4, which is 6 minus 5, which is 1 quarter. So what we did here was we had to make sure that we got a common denominator. I was able to multiply this one by 2. That changed the denominator to 4, but I have to remember to multiply the top by 2 as well. Over here, the common denominator here is going to be 30. So what I could do is I could multiply this one by um, 15, multiply the top by 15, multiply the bottom by 10, multiply the top by 10, multiply the bottom by 6, multiply the top by 6, or if I write out 30, which is 2 times 3 times 5, the 2 had to be multiplied by 15 to get 30, so the negative 1 needs to be multiplied by 15. The 3 had to be multiplied by 10 to get 30. So the 5 must be multiplied by 10. And the 5 need to be multiplied by 6 to get 30. So that means that the 3 has to be multiplied by 6 as well. Well, that's going to give you negative 15 plus 50 minus 18 over 30, which I think was 17 over 30. I don't have my calculator with me, so I'm guessing at that. If it's wrong, I will be terribly embarrassed, but I think that it might be right. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Now, the thing to remember here is that the way that this happened was, and what I did was I took a shortcut, is the common denominator is 30, so I have to multiply the 2 by the 15, so it was actually, I have to multiply the 3 by 10, And I have to multiply the 5 by 6. So notice what I've done is I've multiplied the top and bottom by the same thing. And what that gives us is your 30 for all of them, negative 1 times 15, plus 5 times 10, minus 3 times 6, which is where I started here. Okay? And all of this is over 30. So let's take a look how we would do that with these examples. So we notice that our denominators are the same. So it's simply a matter of adding the numerators. Brackets are your friends. So it's going to be 3x plus 9. Subtract 2x minus 1 over top of 7. So it's going to be x plus 10 over 7. What I did was I expanded here and collected like terms. Take a look at this one. The denominators are x minus 1. They have the same denominator. So it's simply a matter of adding the numerators. And that's it. You're done. Over here, take a look. We have to come up with a common denominator. I think it's going to be 24. So I have to multiply 4 by 6 to get 24. So I'm going to need to multiply the top by 6. So 6, 3x plus 2. I have to multiply the 8 by 3 to get 24, so I have to multiply the x minus 4 by 3. And I have to multiply the 6 by 4 to get 24, so I'm going to multiply the 2x minus 1 by 4. What we do next is we expand and collect like terms. 18x plus 12 plus 3x minus 12 minus 8x plus 4 over top of 24 is going to be 13x plus 4 over 24. 
Okay, looking here, see this one? That's the same as 1 over 1, okay? So when we look at the common denominator, 5, 1, and 6, the common denominator is going to be 30. I have to multiply 5 by 6, so I'm going to multiply its numerator by 6. I have to multiply the 1 by 30, so I'm going to multiply the 1 by 30. And I have to multiply the 6 by 5 to get 30, so I'm going to multiply the top by 5. Adjusting the camera, expanding, 18x plus 6 plus 30 minus 10x minus 15 over top of 30. This is going to be 8x. This is going to be 15, 21 over 30. And that's the answer. Over here, we need to come up with the LCD. The LCD is the lowest common denominator that they can all be changed into. Well, it's going to be 6x cubed. How do I change 3x squared into 6x cubed? I multiply it by 2x. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by 2x. How do I change 2x into 6x cubed? I multiply it by 3x squared. And how do I change x cubed to 6x cubed? I multiply it by 6. Which gives us 4x plus 15x squared minus 6 over 6x cubed, which gives us 15x squared plus 4x minus 6 over 6x cubed. Now, there's a possibility that this trinomial might factor. If it did factor, that would be great, and we'd want to reduce it in the bottom. But if it did factor, it would factor into two binomials. This is not a binomial in the bottom, so it's not going to reduce. So there's no point in even trying to factor. It's not going to help us. Take a look here. What is the lowest common denominator? What can they all be changed into through multiplication? Well, there's 1x here, there's x squared here, and there's a y here and a y cubed here. So they can all go to x squared, and they can all go to y cubed. I have to multiply this y. So this x had to be multiplied by xy cubed. So the top needs to be multiplied by xy cubed. This x squared y needs to be multiplied by simply a y squared. And this y cubed needs to be multiplied simply by an x squared. So, expanding, x, y to the 4, plus 3y squared, minus 8x squared, over top of x squared, y cubed. None of these are like terms, so I can't um, do anything with them. I can't collect like terms, can't add or subtract them. No sense in even thinking about factoring this. There's no common factors. It's not a trinomial, and it's not a difference of squares. Okay, let's flip over. So I have a question here, and I want to compare it to an easier question, one that you've done before. Notice that your LCD would be 3 times 7, in other words, 21. So if I was to do this question, it would be 3 times 7 is your co LCD, common de lowest common denominator. What is the 3 missing? It's missing a 7, so it'll be 2 times 7. Subtract 5. Now what's the 7 missing? It's missing the 3. And that's how you would do that question. The other ways that you could think about thinking about it is it would be 2 over 7 over 3 times 7. Subtract 5 times 3 over top of 7 times 3. Either way, notice that that takes you right back here. 3 times 7 over 2 times 7 minus 5 times 3. Let's compare that to this one. So my LCD here is going to be x plus 3, x minus 2. x plus 3, x minus 2. The 2x has got to be multiplied by whatever this one's missing. 
down here, which is the x minus 2. And the 5 has got to be multiplied, but whatever is missing with the x minus 2 to get this common denominator, which is x plus 3. Just like we had over here the 7 and the 5. So it's going to be 2x squared minus 4x minus 5x minus 15 over top of x plus 3, x minus 2, which is going to be 2x squared minus 9x minus 15 over x plus 3, x minus 2. Now the top, it might factor, and if it does, it might reduce with the bottom. So we always want to factor, if useful, here, you definitely want to expand and collect like terms. In the numerator. But you do not want to expand here. Do not expand the denominator. Why not? Because we want to leave it in factored form. Why? Because if this factors, we're going to want to reduce, if we can, any multiples that are in the top and the bottom. So let's take a look and see if this is going to actually factor. So 2x squared, on a rough piece of paper, 2x squared minus 9x minus 15 would be 2x, 2x over 2, two numbers that multiply to give 30 and add to give 9. Let's see. 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, 4 doesn't go evenly, 5 and 6, 6 and 5. So I'm looking for any combination that will give me 9. No, 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 no. So it does not factor. So we leave it alone and we're done. That is our final answer. Now many of you are going to ask me, do we have to put in that it does not factor? And I'm going to say yes. I know that I told first period that you didn't need to, but I'm going to say yes and that that's a good idea. Okay, coming down to the next question. 3 over 2 minus 7 over 10. Notice that the LCD is 10. It doesn't have to be 20. So I can take this 2 and change it into 10 by multiplying the bottom by 5 and the top by 5, by whatever I'm missing here. So this is simply going to become 3 times 5 minus 7 over 2 times 5. The LCD for this one was all there, so the 7 doesn't need to be multiplied by anything. But this 2 is missing the 5 from the LCD, so the 3 has got to be multiplied by 5. The same thing is going to happen over here. First thing we do is factor. Notice that we have an x plus 2 in both of them. So my LCD is going to be 5x plus 2. This x plus 2 is missing the 5, so we need to multiply the top by 5. This 5x plus 2 is the lowest common denominator, so I don't have to multiply the 7 by anything. So then we're going to have 15 minus 7, which I think is 8, over 5x plus 2. And that's your final answer. There's nothing else to do there. Okay, last example. So we're going to want to factor first x plus 1 over x plus 3 minus 3 over x plus 4 and x plus 3. Let's check that. x times x is x squared. 3x, 4x is 7x, 12. So what we're going to do is get an LCD. The LCD is going to be x plus 3. They both have it. And an x plus 4. Only this one has it. So this one's got to be multiplied by it. It was missing the x plus 4. And this one doesn't need to because it had everything that it needed. So now I'm going to expand this. It's going to be x squared plus 4x plus x plus 4 minus 3 over top of x plus 3, x plus 4. Do not expand the bottom. Leave that in factored form. Do expand the top and collect like terms. We're hoping to get a trinomial that will factor.
Notice I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give 1 and add to give 5. It's not going to happen. The top does not factor. Do not expand the bottom. We'll leave that in factored form. And that's the end of the question. All right, so you've got some work to do. Practice page 1, these questions, and practice page 2, these questions. And we'll see you tomorrow.